So you decided you were going to be filling up your expansion joints and my method of doing it was with the Sika brand uh, self-sealing or self-leveling sealant that uh, comes out of any of the big box stores. I think Home Depot uh, and Lowe's both carry these so it's a good thing for you to look for it. Why did I choose this over all the others? It's pretty simple. The other formats that are out there to fill in expansion joints are you can use asphalt and little stone, you can use uh, this kind of board that you can stick in there that's made out of some kind of tar paper. There's wood and a few other formats that are out there but all of them are designed for a specific size of expansion joint which this would definitely qualify because it in itself is basically about an inch give or take some and of course depending on where the expansion joint is because as you know after 10 years these have changed sizes overall Sika doesn't care how wide or how little this expansion joint is so in the end I can basically fill in any kind of expansion joint with the Seeker brand. Is it more expensive? And the answer is actually no. Not if you plan this out properly. But this is the reason why this video is here. Because I did screw up. And I want you to know some of the things that you need to help yourself to prevent that from happening. Alright. First things first. You can buy the Seeker brand from anywhere. The problem that I came up with though was that I was not so smart to pay attention to the colors. Here, it's gray. This one is sandstone. Stupidly, I cut one and then the other thinking it'd follow through with, and guess what? That didn't happen. So I forcibly had to buy another one of these sandstone ones because I wasn't paying attention. So be careful about the choice of color. I know, very junior mistake, but hey, you know, it's not like they really make it prevalent on the entire rest of the bottle, okay? The other thing that you need to know of is that this is going to be a little bit of a hand workout, guys. This stuff comes out pretty freely and openly once it has the pressure on it. But after the sixth or seventh time of using this thing, I promise you, your hand is going to cramp a little bit. Which also leads up to, make sure that you put some gloves on there. Because some of the things that I've done before, unfortunately, have uh, made the Sika stuff stick to my skin. And this is after three days. After good washing, <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's, it's really sticky, so you got to be careful about that. First things first, when it comes to putting on there, and it does explain it, that you need to make sure you put backing rod. Now, I'm going to show you some of the mistakes that I've made with backing rod, so that way, again, you don't repeat them. Do not be afraid to double stuff backing rod. Also, don't undershoot yourself on the amount you need. This expansion joint right here was 16 feet. I thought to myself, oh, then one bag of this stuff, which comes with 20 feet of it, if you can read that, should be more than enough. No, it wasn't. I needed another one to basically get it all taken care of because one of the things that, again, you'll see my mistake on is that I thought you needed to make sure you just stuck it in there, shoved it in so that way it wouldn't allow it to leak anywhere underneath it and that would be enough. No. What you need to do is you need to make sure you make it into as tight as possible so that the Sika can stay on top of it. The underneath of it doesn't matter anymore because again the Sika is going to prevent the water from getting underneath the concrete. And right here you can see that I made sure that I uh, got a little piece out so you can see it's a little bit of a stretch Armstrong here. All you have to do is to make sure that this stuff gets stuck on two sides of this concrete and it ain't going nowhere. Concrete isn't going to move this much, but you can see Sika is pretty strong. Last things last that you need, make sure you get some good knee protection, make it an old pillow. Uh, I'm using an air mattress for camping. Knee pads are a good idea because you're going to be on your knees for quite some time. And uh, what I helped myself to stuff this was a good old fashioned oversized uh, screwdriver, but you can use anything. You just have to make sure that you get into a format of doing it. Okay, if you have any questions about using this product, the Sika after the fact, please do send me a comment, email, uh, or anything that you want to call me. <laughs> What's important is, is that I think as a homeowner it's one of the better of the choices that you can choose from again because it allows for you to use different expansion points. And it's any more or any less expensive of the other products that are out there to do the exact same thing. 
you just have to be careful with it and make sure that you don't follow through the same mistakes I did. And uh, have a nice day.